Zulo News Show. I'm King Kobe, and this is MC Graham, and I'm Adam. And a lot has happened since we were last with you. Uh, Obama was inaugurated, and then we took a four-year vacation. (laughs) (laughs) Well, somebody had to, right? Yeah. Now we're just a little disheartened, but we're not going to dwell on the past this episode. No, we're called the new low for a reason. If we weren't the new low, we would be the old low or CNN or some stupid shit like that. Right. So we're just going to talk really briefly about what we think is going to happen just over the next months, years, stuff like that. Uh, Global warming. Yeah, it's it was, out of control. Uh, it was 107 degrees at some point in Maryland. What What the fuck was that? <laughs> you know? Uh, that's what I gotta say. Yeah. No, they're now trying to see how warm the planet's gonna get. Not just 3.6 degrees Celsius. Might be up to 7, 8, 9. It's gonna burn everything up. It's gonna make summer increasingly unbearable. Yeah, it's kind of like it's happening now. And not how we're gonna stop it, but what... Who, what's gonna, what are we gonna do? No, I don't you know, even think help, they're saying, what, me, what are know? we gonna do? They're just like, man, it's <laughs> got <laughs> hot up in here. <laughs> Nothing's gonna be do, done to stop that. Mm-hmm. Um, people, there's just more of them all right. the time. According to the UN, there's gonna be 9 billion people by 2050. Uh, that's gonna be, that's gonna suck. Because um, it sucks now how many people there are now. What, right. six, seven, eight billion? I've been right. keeping track. No, just driving from my house to here to record, it took forever. And that's just because, uh, you know, just... Yeah, all those people in front of you, and where are they going? They're yeah. not doing anything important. They're probably doing like something a, stupid. You right. know? They're not going to record a news show. You know? Right. They're probably going to, like, socialize with people <laughs> and, like, try to have sex with somebody. Right. And, you and know, have real human contact, you know, have, quote-unquote, fun. Right. The oil. Right. Uh, Oil production is going to probably peak and then go downhill, and it's not going to be replaced by anything. Mm, this uh, is while the planet warms and there's more and more people. Right, so people are going to get hungrier. Uh, they're going to get uh, there's just be more of us. We're going to get more pissed off because our commutes to and from work and school are going to be even more aggravating. Granted, we're even going to have places to go, like work. Uh, the economy, that's not going to get better. There's no plan to make that better. Right, right. Um, Economics, let's talk about that. You know, people had a lot of ideas in the 1900s, and uh, none of them went well, yep. you know? So here we are. There's no new ideas. Right. Uh, and, and when you talk about the broader issues, capitalism, right. you know, that sucks. Communism, that's also bad. <laughs> yeah, socialism is bad. Um, you know, anarchism, that's no, no good. Yeah. Uh, you know, money is bad. Uh, being poor is bad. Religion is awful. Yeah. Um, uh, being rich also yeah. sucks. Being atheist, right? You know, I've been doing it 25 <laughs> years. No ray of sunshine. Yeah, it's I'll incredibly depressing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, humanity is without anything it has to say, and that's actually you notice this. Like when whenever a catastrophe happens, the rhetoric is very uh, hollow and stale at this point. It's like, oh, this is a tragedy, and we're gonna do something to make sure that we get back on the right track or something. Look at what happened in Libya. You know, some ambassador gets iced, and then Obama makes a few speeches about how we're going to find those responsible, and we're going to not live in a world where people can insult the Prophet Muhammad, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and it's like, you know, you have no plan. Right, and that's where we're at. Just uh, perpetual war, right? Um, perpetual speeches, right? more people elected, more popular unrest, you know? It just It's just going to keep on going. Just yeah. keep on trucking. Literally <laughs> and figuratively. And that's the thing. If you think that at any point in your life anything better is going to happen, you're demonstrably wrong. If uh, I actually recommend if you have a good memory to go back to uh, the five or six times you were genuinely happy and hold on to those for dear life. At the same time, the idea that things are going to bottom out, we're going to rapidly deteriorate into some sort of post-apocalyptic state like you see in zombie movies and stuff like that, that's also not going to fucking happen. Life is going to gradually get shittier and shittier as you get older and sicker and broker and more in debt with less hope, fewer ideas, fewer words that can express what's going on. And uh, this is really a, a new low, so to speak. Graham came up with a name for the show. He just, he just thought it sounded cool. But it's sort of prophetic. We're living through it now. And uh, without further ado, a prophet of our own time, Charles Bukowski, yep. you know, womanizer, a, drunkard, a, an asshole. He wrote a few good things, though. And one of those things is uh, the poem Dinosauria We, which will now be recited in its entirety by Adam. Born like this, into this, as the chalk faces smile, as Mrs. Death laughs, 
as the elevators break, as political landscapes dissolve, as the supermarket bag boy holds a college degree, as the oily fish spit out their oily prey, as the sun is masked, we are born like this, into this, into these carefully mad wars, into the sight of broken factory windows of emptiness, into bars where people no longer speak to each other, into fist fights that end as shootings and knifings, born into this, into hospitals which are so expensive that it's cheaper to die, into lawyers who charge so much it's cheaper to plead guilty, into a country where the jails are full and the madhouses closed, into a place where the masses elevate fools into rich heroes, born into this, walking and living through this, dying because of this, muted because of this, castrated, debauched, disinherited, because of this, fooled by this, used by this, pissed on by this, made crazy and sick by this, made violent, made inhuman, by this. The heart is blackened, the fingers reach for the throat, the gun, the knife, the bomb, the fingers reach toward an unresponsive god, the fingers reach for the bottle, the pill, the powder. We are born into this sorrowful deadliness. We are born into a government sixty years in debt that soon will be unable to even pay the interest on that debt. And the banks will burn. Money will be useless. There will be open and unpunished murder in the streets. It will be guns and roving mobs. Land will be useless. Food will become a diminishing return. Nuclear power will be taken over by the many. Explosions will continually shake the earth. Radiated robot men will stalk each other. The rich and the chosen will watch from space platforms. Dante's Inferno will be made to look like a children's playground. The sun will not be seen and it will always be night. Trees will die. All vegetation will die. Radiated men will eat the flesh of radiated men. The sea will be poisoned, the lakes and rivers will vanish, rain will be the new gold, the rotting bodies of men and animals will stink in the dark wind, the last few survivors will be overtaken by new and hideous diseases, and the space platforms will be destroyed by attrition. The petering out of supplies, the natural effect of general decay, and there will be the most beautiful silence never heard, born out of that the sun still hidden there, awaiting the next chapter.